92.7 WOBM. Good morning, Sean and Sue with you on a brand new Monday morning, almost at the end of February, Sue. But it is a Monday, a brand new week, and we are joined today by the co-chief executive officers, Bob Garrett and John Lloyd from Hackensack Meridian Health. Gentlemen, good morning. Hi, guys. Good morning. Good morning How are guys. you? We Sue love when and you Sean. visit. Uh, we love being Sue here. and Sean, love it. it's just great to be back again. So good. You guys have a lot going on. In fact, I have seen some of this in my own neighborhood, and I was posting pictures the other day about this. Let's talk a little bit about convenient care and how people can determine which is their best option. And we'll sort of go through some of the other mm -hmm. things that you're going to be doing uh, coming up here in the area. But That's let's great. talk about convenient care, John. On. Yes, actually, we're, we're here today because we're opening a new convenience care center in, um, in one of the uh, stores and uh, Ready Clinic. And uh, so it's an exciting day for us. Mm -hmm. uh, convenient care is really all about accessible and affordable care when your regular physician may not be available or maybe um, your listeners don't have a primary care physician. Mm -hmm. And tip typically, convenient care treats sort of minor uh, non-threatening illnesses such as a fever, upper respiratory infections, mm. urinary tract infections, and then also you can get immunizations and even you can get a physical and staffed by very well-qualified uh, nurse practitioners Perfect. who have their master's degree and part of the Hackensack Meridian family. Um, so that's really what it's all about, and today is an exciting time as, as we... I think that when you say you agree news. that with today's environment, people are so busy going and, and, and here, there, and everywhere, their schedules are all crazy. Convenience is something mm. that's really going to be a key. A absolutely. And uh, again, um, we always encourage uh, our consumers and patients to go to their uh, physicians, whether they be primary care physicians or specialists. But, but there are times when uh, people need... Uh, to be seen, and that could be uh, mm -hmm. on the weekend. It could be, you know, at night. And uh, we're offering, um, you know, different times for that. And Bob may want to speak to that. But Bob Garrett and I are co-CEOs at Hackensack Meridian. Uh, the books tell you that it never works to have co-CEOs. <laughs> but as you can see, we are here hugging and kissing. <laughs> wow, Bob! Oh, and boy. we're having a great time. So <laughs> what a I way for me to debut, right? I want all, <laughs> I want all the listeners big welcome for Bob. Garrett. Hey, Bob. Wow. wow. We're even sharing a mic. We wow. like that. This is pretty good. Hey, Bob, this is exciting. Glad to be here. You're going to tell us a little about the uh, big uh, ready clinic that you uh, have ribbon cuttings for today. Yeah, so we're really excited about that, um, you know, partnering with Ready Clinic. What a great organization, mm -hmm. national organization. And as John said, this is all about convenient care, accessible care, affordable care. Mm -hmm. And uh, so Hackensack Meridian is partnering with Ready Clinic. And uh, we recently opened nine different locations throughout Monmouth, Ocean, and Middlesex counties. Mm -hmm. So we're exciting that today, uh, just in a couple hours, we'll be holding a ribbon um, cutting ceremony uh, for the Hackensack Meridian Clinic right here in, uh, in Tom's River. Oh, great. Which is located at the right aid on, uh, on Route 70. Um, so these, these nice. ready clinics um, are really exciting. They're going to provide quality care, award-winning quality care, accessible to, uh, to um, patients, accessible to the community, um, where, when patients need it most. You know, it's going to be these are, these are close to people's homes and their own communities. So patients are able to really walk in um, without an appointment to see a board-certified nurse practitioner and nurse practitioners today can do so much. Mm -hmm. They're really so well qualified, so well trained. So we're really happy to have some really talented nurse practitioners working at these ready clinics. Patients can get a prescription if uh, if needed, and they're able to fill that prescription at the Rite Aid uh, pharmacy. And in addition to Tom's River, Hackensack uh, Meridian Radio, uh, Ready Clinics are also located in uh, Belford, Highland Park, Little Lake Harbor, mm -hmm. Marlboro, Neptune, Old Bridge, Red Bank, and then um, Whitesville. So um, they're really they're really located throughout the uh, region, really um, conveniently. And they're um, they're open eight o'clock in the morning, eight a.m. to eight p.m. Mondays through Fridays, and eight a.m. to eight p.m. on Saturdays and uh, See, Sundays as well. See, that's what makes it so is, convenient. Which is so you know, convenient. I mean, because that's when your child gets sick. Right. Six p.m. You Wait, know what I mean? Absolutely. You know, and and you, you have nowhere to go. And a lot of the, you know, and if you think about it, a lot of the pediatrician offices, you know, they're, they're not open until 8. So this is Correct. convenient. We're going to be working, as John said, working with the local physician community to coordinate mm. that care. That's great. So it's really, it really That's is going to be very, very convenient. I saw ours in Little Egg Harbor that you were just mentioning. I saw yeah. it open the other day when I was in there looking around it. It's very nice, very clean, very, you know, and, and like you said, situated right in the pharmacy. It's yeah. sort of a nice coupling there. 
of yes. the two. Uh, John, how does this uh, change traditional health care well, with the I, opening of the Ready Clinics? Well, I think it changes traditional health care. Um, if, if you look at what Hackensack Meridian has done, we've created what we call this uh, continuum of care, and that is providing a lot of uh, services in an ambulatory setting. And this is just another example of how we can take our services out into the community mm-hmm. and not have patients who need to be seen come to our hospitals. Mm-hmm. We'd rather take care of them uh, in ambulatory settings uh, whenever possible. Uh, certainly, if, if uh, your listeners need uh, <coughs> care at any of our hospitals, I mean, we have 13 hospitals now spanning eight counties. Uh, they're all doing a great job and a phenomenal job. Our emergency rooms do a great job. They also have, in some cases, urgent care centers. So we're now offering whatever the consumer wants. Mm. You want convenience care? We have that. You want urgent care? We have that. You need to go to our hospital? We have that. And we try to do it in a very uh, outstanding manner with with the best physicians and the best nurses. And Bob, we want you to get the final word here today as to giving us the description, emergency care and ready clinic. What is the difference Mm. between the two? So if someone needs to find those boundaries, how do you go about doing that? Yeah, so you know, there's certainly a time and a place for emergency care. Yeah. Our emergency departments do, as John said, a fantastic, uh, a fantastic job. I mean, there are the difference really is that they're they're open 24/7, 365 days a year. But they're they really should be used for more um, serious uh, conditions, serious mm-hmm. illnesses. You know, things like uh, chest pain, shortness of breath, mm-hmm. loss of consciousness, seizures, serious healthcare uh, issues where. Um, Patients might need follow-up, whether it be um, surgery or intensive care or even some um, extensive uh, testing. Um, The ready clinics are really for immediate care for um, non-life-threatening illnesses, meaning ailments like um, like fevers and flus, respiratory respiratory and ear infections, um, urinary tract infections. But they can also um, provide other uh, more advanced services like stitches, concussion evaluations, Mm -hmm. and minor fractures, which, you know, I think a lot of people uh, will use these ready clinics for. Mm -hmm. So whether you're, whether you're visiting one of our 13 hospitals, as, as we talked about, receiving care from one of more than our 6,000 physicians throughout Hackensack Meridian, Mm -hmm. using telehealth services where you might be receiving, getting care right at home through, uh, through technology, um, these ready clinics provide another option for, uh, for consumers. And if you think about What's going on now in healthcare and the reform of the Affordable Care Act? We want to provide as many options to uh, consumers as possible with accessible care um, that's affordable. That's really important. Very nice. Perfect. So if Sue slugs me, I can go over to Ready Clinic and they can stitch me up right there. Absolutely. All right, there we go. And, All right, now and, and I know. Sean, that's after you work out in one of our fitness centers, right? <laughs> which I do, which I belong to. Yes, yes. Yeah, as, a matter, as a matter of fact, yes. Um, I got to get there a few more days than I do a week, but that's a whole other issue. But I do love, I do love my uh, workout club, though. Guys, thanks so much for being with us. The co-CEOs, Bob Garrett and John Lloyd from Hackensack Meridian Health, had today. What time is the ribbon cutting today? It's at uh, 10.30, right? 10.30 okay. this morning. All right, yeah. so you're just a little bit away from doing that. We'll Great have fun team, over there. Guys. Okay. Great team, Thank Sue you. Sue and Sean, thank you so thank much. Thank you for having us. Thank guys, you. Guys, thanks for being with us. Let's go out.